so this is an unboxing and installation of this ultra slim two terabyte hard drive into an xbox one s apologize my son already started the unboxing which sort of didn't go very well and we ran our storage on the xbox one s it was a it's a 500 gig xbox one s so we decided to install the a two terabyte uh you can pick this up anywhere i, I got it from costco uh let's just read uh what's on the back uh it's uh mobile ready except you know as i said we'll be installing it in uh uh xbox one s uh, it's nice and small aluminum although it doesn't say anything about xbox one s or anything like that i believe you can also cloud uh, it also comes in cloud rescue but i'm not sure if i'll be using it and uh i guess register for the warranty because i believe it does come with a two-year warranty i think it's it's a recovery plan well two two-year recovery plan which is good so if this messes up uh, everything will be backed up in the cloud and you can restore it. I wonder if it will work with an Xbox One S game though. Anyway, I'll, I'll find out. Full aluminum. Uh, it does feel like it's metal. I think the bottom part, this feels like plastic, but this feels like metal. And I believe that lights up, I'm not sure. And it is uh, USB 3.0 as uh, you can see. Not USB-C, but USB 3.0. And it comes with um, some uh, assistance to rescue. And... Uh, Mission also comes with the USB cable that makes it easy to install. As you can see, it is USB 3.0 over here, so you don't have to go look for it looking for a cable. Now let's go connect this uh, over to our Xbox One S. Okay, it is plugged in. It did light up initially. It does light up over here. I don't know why it did not light up now. So I'm gonna I'm gonna on it. Okay, okay, there it does light up. Nice white light. And obviously you want to put it on this side. If you're going to be putting it on your Xbox, you don't want to cover up the hole where the fan comes out, which is actually quite hot. So we just had it uh, over here. Maybe well covered, maybe put it somewhere else. But anyway, um, it's on. And uh, let's go through the process to make sure how we would configure it so that we can access it. So here's the TV. And... Um, what do you got? Where do you go? I've got um, all my games that I need to get for it. I know, but don't you have to configure? Don't you have to configure the drive? I don't know. You don't know? What? It works. Going to setting. It says no. Uh, I I I seen that so much more. That's okay. So let's go. Going to go into settings. Yeah, go into settings. Okay. So. And go into um. Uh, no, not network settings. Storage, corner storage. Where's that? Bottom left. Come down. Okay. Clear local manage leftover add-ons. How come there's only 342 free? I thought you said. No, no, because it's downloading other games. But like by using common sense, it's going to be more than that. I click on manage storage. You see that you light it up. Click it. Click it. View contents. It's all these other games. All these other games. There's still more. So how come it says only three hundred six point one gigabytes used? It doesn't make any sense. So when you uh, plug in your your hard drive, it'll ask you for this. Do you want to use it for? Games and apps, and we obviously want to use it for for, for uh, use for media or for games and apps. Format device storage. We want to use it for games and apps, right? Yeah. So use so format storage device. Give you a name. Let's just call it external. Let's just call it external one. Well, you can have more than one. Yeah, I believe so. Install things on external by default. Uh, install new things here. Yes. Wait, install new things here? Yeah. Uh, format one format is done. You'll be able to use games and apps on external storage. Okay, format storage device. I guess it's formatting. Oh, external storage is already ready. There oh, you go. Okay. And now when you look, 
It says one person used. We have, used. yep, it's uh, one person used. So it's two terabytes plus existing. So that's how it comes with 2.1 terabytes. Thanks for watching. That's how you set up external storage.